Greetings. Swahili Church. Selamat pagi dan selamat sabat semuanya. And I am happy to be with you again on We Are Swahili. I want to speak to you on a subject, God is in church. We all want to live normal lives. We have a good job. We can have food on our table every day. We can send our children to school. Uh, a normal life. Unfortunately, there are unexpected circumstances that come along in life. And we find ourselves that our job is threatened and then we begin to panic and to worry. How will I take care of my children? How will I buy food? How will I do this? And we begin to worry about the future. 2,000 years ago, the same situation happened to the disciples of Jesus. Mark tells us in chapter 4 of Mark chapter 4 verse 35, the disciples were sailing peacefully, enjoying, suddenly there arose a storm. And they began to panic. And they began thinking now, what are they going to do? And of course, they were threatened with death. So they tried to use all their skills to do something that is impossible. They tried to save themselves. And when they had tried, because they were the master of the sea, they wanted to be in charge, they failed. And suddenly, they remembered Jesus Christ. You know, before the storm, Jesus had allowed them to see many miracles. And Jesus wanted them to know that Jesus was master of every situation. He was master over sickness. And even after this, he would heal the demoniac. He had done even many things for them to trust in him. When the storm happened, Jesus was sleeping peacefully. No storm, no problem, no challenge could wake him up because Jesus trusted in his father and he wanted his disciples to learn to rest, to trust in Jesus because Jesus is in church. The key to understanding this story is found in answering the question, whose idea was it for the disciples to cross on the other side of the lake? The Bible says in Mark chapter 4 verse 35, the Bible says, Let us cross over to the other side. Jesus said to them. In other words, this trip was for Jesus. He planned it. He knew about it. He was in church. The disciples' part was to just follow Jesus. But when the storm came, the disciples forgot this important uh, thing. So they wanted to be in church and they found themselves panicking over something that they could not handle. My brothers and sisters, you and I have been invited by Jesus to cross over to the other side. And in, in, in this journey, we will find ourselves in storms. And we have always to remember that we are not in church, but Jesus is in church. In fact, He knew us before we were born. He planned for us. He says, I have plans for you. And He says, do not worry about what you wear, what you will eat, because I know all your needs. He invites us to just have faith in Him, because He has all the plans for our lives. He is the master and he is in church and he might allow us to go through different kinds of storms in life but time will come and he will say peace be still and you will look back at how he has led you through the storm and you will say what manner what kind of man is this that the winds and the storm obey him he is the master over every situation. May God bless you as you trust in Him in every situation, for we are Sola Fide.